Hello third graders. All right, it is another exciting day for an art project. Today, you guys are gonna get to choose how you want to create this project. We're gonna be talking about bugs today. And we're gonna talk a little bit about the parts of a bug, which you guys have already learned about, how many legs a bug has and all those details. Then you guys can decide if you wanna draw your bug using pencils or crayons or markers or even paint. If you wanna paint your bug, you can do that. Or you can find objects around your house and use those to create your bug. Kind of like the faces that we did two weeks ago. Um, that could be your choice too. So let's do a really, really quick review of the parts of a bug. There are three of them. You guys know that. You guys know that the parts of a bug are a head, a thorax, and an abdomen. I'm gonna do a really quick drawing. Now you guys know, because I tell you this all the time, I'm gonna do a drawing of, a, of an insect just so we have all the parts, but you guys are much better artists than I am. So the drawing that I'm gonna do, don't copy it. You guys can do a much, much, much better job than I can. All right, so super quick, head, thorax, abdomen. Now, how many legs does a bug have? We know it's more than two. Is it four? Mm, how about six? Yeah. So you can make them straight. You can make them bent, kind of like your elbow or your knee. They can be short. They can be long. Totally up to you. Your bug can have wings. If you want your bug to have wings. Eyes. And again, all the shapes are up to you. I'm using ovals. You guys could do triangles. You could do squares. You could do rectangles. Antennas. They could be short antennas or they could be really crazy and curly. Okay? Any details you want to add inside the bug? That will be really interesting. You could even make a little tiny, almost like little feet. All of this is totally up to you. Use your imagination. Add all kinds of interesting and crazy details. Once again, don't forget, you can either draw it or you can use found things around your house. Because I've been going into classroom Zoom meetings, I've been asking the students which things they like better, and most people really, really seem to like the found objects. Okay, as always, you can take a picture of your artwork and upload it to Class Dojo and share it that way to me if you would like to, but you don't have to. Hope you guys are doing well. Um, let's do a double high fives from far away before we go. Ready? One, two, three. Pew. All right, have an awesome day.